kilometers underground inside the LHC tunnel. This tunnel is 27 kilometers long, as we divided it into, it into eight different sectors. In this sector, sector 8-1, the preparation of the tunnel has started, has been done, and the cooling lines have been installed, and we are now installing the so-called LHC magnets. Uh, all in all, we are working in three sectors at the same time, and we have installed about 200 of the 2,000 magnets, of the standard magnets. So basically, we have the magnet as such, which is cooled in superfluid helium to 1.9 Kelvin. We have an active cooling screen, and the outside tube is just like a vacuum bottle. So this line is finished, it's welded, it's closed for the particles. The other lines, these three, as you can see, is electrical connections. It's the powering of the magnets. It's the powering of the normal magnets and the powering of the corrective magnets. Bringing the magnets down here is, is a hell of a job. They have to be transported, they have to be put into place, they have to be aligned. But after that, the real trouble starts, which is the interconnection. Magnet transport is uh, one of the main activity during LHC installation. This magnet was installed today and it comes from three kilometers. Its weight is about 35 tons and is, and is long 16 meters. This piece of technology will have to be installed on these jacks and uh, it will be uh, a great challenge for people to, to do it uh, every day. The, the magnet of tomorrow will, will be installed to, to this place and uh, to do it we use a specific equipment designed by CERN and this equipment de developed by CERN is used to, to put it with a precision of a millimeter to its final position. After the magnet installation, another group comes to align with precision each magnet. The magnets are in place, they still have to be connected to each other. They have to be connected hydraulically and they have to be connected electrically. And this requires a lot of work, work that has to be done down here in the tunnel by a lot of different people. Not only do they have to do this work, but they also, all this work has to be checked and tested and measured and re well, Most people don't realize, but putting these magnets together is quite difficult. The, the difficulty uh, in this machine is that it is uh, very complex. As you can see, there's a lot of, of tubes. And even if you see from the outside that uh, these are only a big blue and, uh, and uh, gray tubes, uh, what is inside is more complex than we can imagine. Uh, this was a challenge for us. Uh, to assemble some 2,000 interconnections in this machine with different uh, technologies. This is an ultrasonic welding machine. This machine uh, was developed specially for uh, this application in order to weld the superconductive cable. Uh, the ultrasonic uh, welding is the only technology which allows to obtain a very low um, uh, re uh, contact resistance. Um, IEG uh, developed this application uh, for an uh, industrialization and um, the, the technology was imposed by CERN. The assembly and commissioning of the LSC machine and in particular during the interconnection phase of the LSC machine, several tests have to be performed in order to qualify the quality of the work and to certify that the machine will work as expected. One of these first tests is the electrical verification of the superconducting circuits. In total, there are 1,700 superconducting circuits that are composed of 200,000 segments that have to be interconnected together and on which the continuity and the polarity of each circuit has to be respected. This will be done in a sequential way in parallel and in parallel with the mechanical and assembly activities. The second check is the verification of the vacuum tightness of the vacuum circuits. This activity will be done on the beam tubes and on some other cryogenic lines that need to be checked and tested in order to avoid that there are some leaks. And in particular concerning the, the beam tubes, this activity will be done locally on an interconnection level and once this is done on several interconnections, the full sector of a LHC machine will be released. Well, I've been working on this, I've been the, the project leader of, of this project since 1993. But actually the first paper I wrote of, uh, uh, about the LHC uh, design study was in 1983. So that's already a very long time. By December 2006, the whole machine should be complete. The, the dream of the LHC is becoming a, a reality. Uh, over the next two years, we will have a, a, a lot of work to do 
for installing and testing all of this equipment. In order to achieve that, we need some, uh, uh, a, la a large influx of collaborators from outside institutes to come and help us over the peak of the, uh, of the commissioning. But I uh, expect to be ready by the, uh, by the early summer of 2007 to have a beam circulating in the machine and to, and to see the first collisions in, in the detector at an energy that's never ever been seen before.